Hello everyone, this is Chris Wade and today I'm showing you a new product from Hubson and uh, as you can see here, uh, it is a new transmitter. I'm sure many of you uh, that are in Hubson groups or uh, RC forums have already seen a little sneak peek of this uh, or pictures of it, but here it is live in action. Um, as you can see on the box, uh, it, this is going to be coming with the H501A and uh, nothing has changed at all with the H501A. It's the same old model uh, that you're used to, which is a great model. So I'm glad they haven't done anything to change that. And um, the only difference is you're going to be getting this uh, set up with the transmitter. Um, Many of you who do own a H501A know that it came with a relay before. Uh, that's one of the nice things about this transmitter. It is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, uh, and that's this antenna here. This is not the antenna that comes with it. Uh, the one that comes with it is your standard 2.4 gigahertz antenna that you're used to uh, getting from Hubson with their, like on their advanced transmitter. So, uh, um, this is just something that I'm trying out, but this is your 2.4 gigahertz uh, for your flight control. And then the transmitter has a built-in Wi-Fi relay, uh, which you'll connect with the app. So what you'll do is you'll connect your app to the Wi-Fi on the quad. Then you'll go into your settings within the app and uh, select relay, and then you'll connect to the relay Wi-Fi. Um, with the transmitter, you just bind that to the quad. And to do that, you simply hold this bind button. It just has, it has a button for binding, which their other transmitters don't. You have to do key sequence. Uh, but you hold down bind and you press power. And then you'll get solid lights and your 2.4 gigahertz light will flash. At that time, all you do is you plug in the uh, quad and it'll bind, which I can just show you real quick. I'll plug in the battery. You don't have to hold the transmitter close to it. And now it's bound. So I'll show you the other lights real quick so you know. Uh, you have your power light, stay solid. GPS, I've already had this on before, so I've already acquired my six satellites, uh, believe it or not, indoors. Uh, I've got my six satellites minimum met already on the transmitter. Uh, the GPS module is located right here underneath, underneath this cover, um, which I can even open up the cover and show you guys the inside of the transmitter. Um, but I have, I've met my satellites, and then you have your UAV, oops, your UAV GPS, which is your uh, aircraft. Uh, so once that meets its six satellites, that'll go solid. Um, if you're connected strictly to the Wi-Fi and not the 2.4 gigahertz, the Wi-Fi will go solid. You, you can only connect a, one or the other if you're going to use it for flight control. Um, so right now we're bound with 2.4 gigahertz, so that stays solid. So that's, in a nutshell, pretty much what those lights do. Um, the rest of the controller I'll show you. Uh, you have your bind button, which I've already gone over. Then you have your LED button. By pressing that, I have my flashing lights. So the lights are flashing. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to... Uh, do my calibration. They should not be flashing. Let's go ahead and just do the calibration. Okay, so now my LEDs are off. All right, so with the H501A, if you remember, you either have on or off. They don't flash. So now they're on. Press the button, and they are off. Okay. 
So that's that. Now you also have orbiting mode right here. So you just one key touch and that'll put you into the orbiting mode. Um, and then you have the follow me. Um, back to the orbiting mode, I have not tested the orbit feature where you can orbit here and uh, select your uh, orbiting diameter and uh, location. Um, I do know that it orbits the transmitter, uh, but with the firmware on the A, you can also have the new feature of orbiting uh, in a, a orbit here location, which is you can select your own location and the diameter of the orbit. Uh, I have not tested that, so. Uh, and then, like I said, you have the key for follow me. And back here, you have your camera to take pictures. And this button and your uh, rotary switch, the wheel, uh, these currently don't have any function assigned to them. But on this side, you have your video. And then this one takes you in and out of headless mode. By hitting that, you go in and out of headless mode. And then again, this rotary has nothing assigned to it. And then on the front, you'll see you have a DR. Uh, this switch uh, says zero and one. So it has two locations you can have it in. Uh, that currently has nothing uh, that it controls either. So it, it, it's a dead switch right now. Uh, the flight mode. That switch does work. You can go from zero, one, and two. I was hoping this would be a like sport mode where it would increase the performance and speed. Um, more like a altitude hold mode or a manual mode, but it does not. So I think what it does is it takes you from like junior to senior. Um, so, so far using those keys, I ha really haven't noticed much of a difference. Um, and that's just something I need more time with. I'm just, we're just now into spring and it's been a crazy winter. So I really didn't get that far into it to playing with all that stuff and a few other things I want to do with this transmitter. But again, this is the new transmitter. Uh, the model number is HT011A and, um, it's got the built-in Wi-Fi relay and your 2.4 gigahertz control. Um, I have been able to go, it's being sold again as 1000 meters, um, but with the Wi-Fi FPV, um, I was not able to get that. You start losing FPV somewhere in the 500 meter range. Uh, myself and another tester, uh, a couple testers have, um, said the same thing, somewhere in the 500 meter range is when they start losing their FPV. I had total loss of FPV under 600 meters. Um, so for GPS, that's, or for Wi-Fi, that's, that's pretty damn good. Um, but if you have a meter that's being sold, a transmitter that's being sold as a thousand meter range, uh, you would like to get your Wi-Fi or your FPV to work that way as well. Um, so you can use your Android or iOS device uh, for your FPV. And like I said, um, I doubt you'll get the 1000 meters out of that. Uh, however, if you do own a Hubson uh, H122D Storm, that comes with a monitor. You can put that monitor in here and then you're not relying on Wi-Fi. Uh, then you're going to have your uh, 5.8 and um, be able to get the range that you want. And there it is. So now you have FPV using that monitor there and uh, that should help get you, there you go, that should help get you to the 1,000 meters. Um, I have not tested that for 1,000 meters. Um, I haven't tested it for 600 meters. Um, I've only 
flown it with this screen uh, up close, but I haven't had any any com any complaint or problem with it up close. I don't see why with the right antenna setup, you you shouldn't be able to get a thousand meters. Uh, if you can't, perhaps a better screen. Other people are using other other screens and. Um, it's just a matter of trying out the screen that you have and see if you can get a thousand meters with it. So, so far I've not seen anybody take this controller 1000 meters. As far as flight control, I'm pretty confident that it will do a thousand meters, but you don't want to do that without FPV. So upcoming, uh, I guess we'll be seeing a lot of, um, videos from people who are able to get, uh, a high range, out of this screen um, using this transmitter. Um, I think it was 1200 meters. It was over a thousand meters, uh, a member in my group uh, who also has this set up. Um, he tested it, uh, but I think he tested it with the advanced transmitter using the advanced transmitter with this screen and he got over a thousand meters. So I do know that the screen will, will, will get the FPV. So that's why I'm so confident that this setup, if you are lucky enough to have this setup, uh, will make for a very good flight control with FPV. So those of you who own the H501M or those of you who do not own the H501M because of its low range of 100 meters, um, this right here should increase that. I don't see any reason why you couldn't take it to 400 meters. That's just my guess. And um, the new product coming after this, uh, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see. And uh, that will be the next new item to use with the uh, H501M and the other Wi-Fi models like the H501A. So I hope you found this video somewhat informative. Um, I didn't hook up the app or anything like that. It does exactly like the relay where you uh, hook up the app. Let me get rid of this. Put the phone on there. But basically you open up the app, you connect to the quads Wi-Fi and you bound the transmitter to the quad and after that you're going to uh, connect your uh, go into your settings and go to your relay and then you'll be able to link to the wi-fi on the transmitter uh, so it's the same exact setup as when you're using the little white relay that um, has been coming with the h501a and uh Essentially, this is a transmitter, but they're calling it a relay when you connect it that way. So uh, if you would like to see the inside, we'll do that real quick. If I can get it popped open. Okay. She's open. Let me unplug it. Right underneath here, you'll see this protective film. That is your GPS module. And then, if I lay that down, here you see your Wi-Fi modules, which is your relay. And there's the pigtails for those, and they're plugged into that board. And then for your 2.4 gigahertz, your uh, 2.4 module is directly under here and you can see the pigtail. I'm sorry, you didn't see any of that. It's directly under these wires here and you can see the pigtail for it right there. So that's where your 2.4 gigahertz module is. And then there's the board with your little uh, alarm speaker, your sounding speaker, your beeps when you hit the switches for like taking pictures and video and headless mode and follow me and orbiting mode um, or s switching the button for your different uh, flight controls or your uh, flight modes. So that's it. That is the new transmitter. And again, uh, I hope you found this informative. Um, 
if nothing else, you at least got to see a peek of it. And uh, there will be videos to come from myself and from the others that have tested this. Uh, some well-known YouTubers that are that do much better at this than I do and uh, are pretty, pretty big YouTube channels. Um, there's three of them that uh, are really big YouTube channels and well-known by everybody, and I'm sure you've subscribed to them already. Uh, so you will soon see their flights and their, their inf information on this transmitter. Um, I just don't want to give out their name without asking them in case they haven't got their videos out yet by the time I get mine out. Um, so that's it. That's the HT011A being sold with the H501A. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, those of you who have subscribed, uh, thank you very much for the support. And uh, again, stay tuned. Another new product is on its way.